As you may or may not have heard by now, we are using a new tool called LessonMate, which is a platform for teachers to be able to send you homework and assignments that will be automatically emailed to you, and LessonMate will store them as a library, so you can always go back and reference past homework assignments and lessons. Um, in case you ever wanna see a music file or a video or a sheet of music, you no longer have to search for it in an email or a folder or the car, it will be here stored in LessonMe. So the first time a teacher sends you homework or an assignment, you will get an email from LessonMate and it will look like this. It'll have some music notes on it, so pretty easy giveaway that it's from us. And I'll show you this first email. Uh, we'll say, hello, we're introducing you to LessonMate. And within the email, it will give you login information to log in to LessonMate. Now, anytime you're emailed a lesson, you don't have to log in to see that lesson. But the login will be helpful when you want to go back and reference other lessons in your library. So I'm just going to click here to show you what it looks like to see your first lesson. It will pull up automatically just to this specific lesson with any attachments the teacher may have included. I'll go back to my email and show you any subsequent lesson that the teacher sends you. You will get another email that looks very similar, just saying you have a new lesson from us in LessonMate. And that email, again, the link will go directly to that specific lesson. Sometimes a teacher may forget to include a piece of music or something they just wanted to add to the lesson. When they go back in and update that, you will get another email saying your teacher has added new content. And again, this email will go directly to that specific lesson that has been updated. Now let's say I'm in this, but I wanna go to another lesson. So I will log in using this sign in button here to go to my library to see those other lessons sign in here real quickly and here is a list thus far of all my lessons and you'll see these little icons mean they are attachments from the teacher music files or a PDF let's say and I can click into any one of those to view it and anytime you want to you just go to lesson mate and all your lessons will be there you can simply go to lessonmate.org to log in once you're logged in if you don't sign out you should automatically just always be signed in. You can also save one of your emails. I would recommend probably saving that first email that you receive with your login credentials so that you can always go in and sign in. Once you are in the platform, you can of course say change your password by going to profile and changing your password here at the bottom and updating. And that is LessonMate.